In this hike, we're going to Cedar Creek Falls. It was about 5.6 miles, 1,053 feet of elevation gain, and took about two hours and 23 minutes of moving time uh, out and back. It is important to note that there is a permit process for this hike. Um, you can't just go whenever you want. Um, to do that, you're gonna go to the recreation.gov website, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, from there, on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see that there are uh, times available. If they're grayed out, obviously you can't go. Go ahead and find a date that works for you, and then you'll go through the booking process. You will need an account. Uh, after signing into your account, it's going to ask the names of the people that you're going with, and then it's also going to ask for a small fee. I think it was about $6 when I went. Also pay attention to the rules. Uh, you know, obviously you need to take out all the trash that you bring with you. You're not allowed to jump off the falls, climb the falls, uh, you name it. This is important for your safety. I think a lot of people try to do this and they end up getting hurt. Uh, you know, there are a lot of rescues that happen at this location and it's either for injuries or people who are dehydrated because during the summer months it can be extremely hot. So let's talk about that. Pack your water. <laughs> So when you get to the hike, you're going to need to bring a copy of your permit that you have. And yes, there are people at the trailhead that are checking these permits. So don't think that you can just go up and be like, hey, well, if a ranger shows up halfway through, you know, whatever, I'll make something up. Uh, no, they do check at the trailhead where you park. Um, so don't make the journey out there if uh, you don't have a permit. It's just not worth your time. They, they do enforce this uh, and it's for very good reasons. Another thing that's important about this hike, because it is such a dangerous hike in the heat, um, they do close it. They close it whenever there's a heat wave, uh, extreme fire warnings, and that is for the safety of us, right? You know, we go all the time, um, and there's some of us who are very adept to hiking, and there's others who just go for the thrill to see a waterfall, drink a beer, have a good time, uh, you know, not quite follow the rules, and those are the ones that typically get caught stranded and involve helicopter rescues. So what they do is they just shut it down before that can happen, um, and then it helps save time and safety of everybody around us. Like I mentioned before, this is a reverse hike. You go down to the waterfall, and then on your way back up, is when you get all the climb. So if you're doing this, it is super hot out, you need to make sure that you don't drink all of your water at the falls. Uh, so you save some water, definitely more than you used on the way down and hanging out for the journey back up. There is no shade, so you're gonna need all the water that you can get. Something else that's important about this trail is that the water is not always flowing. So you can do use different research methods to figure out if the water is going or not. Uh, you know, I like to use Instagram and check out some of the recent posts on hashtags. I'll make a video about that one day. So I'm not a water expert, but you need to make sure that the water is flowing if you're gonna go in there. Uh, a lot of times that when the water is stale, it can have a lot of bacteria. It's not getting filtered out. The water is not moving uh, and that'll lead to you actually getting sick. So the final point that I have about this is we want to make sure to be courteous to those who are around us. You've got a mix and match of people who are showing up. You've got people who are out there to party. You have people who are out there to enjoy nature. And my point is this, is, you know, we want to make sure that if you're out there having a good time, that it's not impacting others in a disrespectful manner. I think I spoke enough. Like I say before and I say again, let's go to the trail.